finally a really nice day. This was nice, and uh, we've been saying for the past few days, Eric, it really feels like we're starting to move yeah. in the right direction. Definitely. It's been kind of gradual, but we're absolutely getting there. Today is one of those more classic May days. Temperature is pretty much exactly where we should be for this time of the year. In and out of the clouds and sunshine. It's one of those days where the clouds are out and you say, okay, this is comfortable. Then when the sun's out, you say, this is fantastic. It was one of those afternoons. There are some clouds sweeping across the area. Temperatures are mostly in the 60s. If you take a look at the satellite picture, we had that clearing earlier. Now one last batch of cumulus clouds moving through, about to swing down across the Cape and the islands. Nantucket is one of the brightest spots right now, the Food and Wine Festival ongoing on the island. Everyone's treated to a sunny afternoon there. And a couple of quick showers moving through. These will last for about 60 more minutes and just a few swing through quick and uh, very briefly, a sprinkle or a light raindrop coming down across the North Reading area. Sudbury, a quick shower. This one moving down toward Norwood, a heavier shower here around Freetown and up toward Lakeville. But these are pulse showers, meaning they grow quick and then they fall apart and disappear very quickly. And as we approach sunset, we'll see more clearing. We'll see all those showers disappear. So tonight we're looking at temperatures back in the 40s to around 50 degrees. And then the next system will begin to approach for tomorrow. Now, as we start the day, the best chance for any rain showers will be across New Hampshire, Vermont, and far northern Massachusetts. The rest of the region will likely be dry. Then as we head toward lunchtime and into the afternoon, a few scattered showers, a quick downpour, even an isolated rumble of thunder tomorrow. It'll turn milder and muggier as we head into the afternoon and the evening. And temperatures reaching close to 70 degrees for most of the region. So we'll add a few more degrees on top of what we had today. So breaking down the timing, here you see tomorrow morning, best chance of rain sweeping across Vermont, New Hampshire, north of that Route 2 corridor. And then as we head into the rest of the day, we'll be in and out of intervals of some sunshine and clouds, a scattered shower, a quick downpour, even an isolated rumble of thunder. That front will be offshore by about 9 to 10 o'clock. So if you have plans tomorrow night, we'll be looking at a clearing and a drying trend. So a little unsettled, but with comfortable temperatures tomorrow. On Saturday, it looks like a great day, bright skies, very pleasant. And then on Sunday, we'll be watching a warm front lifting north. Right now, it looks like the best chance for a shower or storm is going to be more toward Vermont, the Berkshires, New York State. Not 100% uh, chance of staying dry, though, in our area. So we'll be watching the trends on that. There is a slight risk for a shower or a quick storm. Warm weekend, though, up into the 70s for both days. Change of pace compared to what we've had recently. And on the heels of the weekend, how about our first 80s of the season? They're possible on Monday. Be late this year. The average first 80 is around May 4th. And, of course, it's been a cool month of May so far. Last year, we had it just at the start of the month on time. Pollen count staying high over the next several days. We're starting to see the blooms move along. The tree pollen's starting to go away. We're seeing more of our later spring flowers. The peonies will start blooming this weekend. If you're heading out and doing some yard work, tomorrow, fair conditions. We'll be in and out of some showers. Saturday and Sunday, though, are both looking really good. And if you're heading over to the airport, there are no significant storms in our future. We basically just have these pop-up showers or storms, a couple of them tomorrow, and then we'll have a couple more on Monday with those 80s possible. And next week looks real nice, near 70 on Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe some showers returning by Thursday, but consider the corner turned here. 86. Take That's that. It's going to feel hot compared to where we've been. That jumps right out. It's lovely. Thanks, Eric.